Hey folks, my name's Alan. I am a certified mountain bike instructor through the PMBIA and I am the owner and uh, lead guide for next level riding in the Cowichan Valley on Vancouver Island. Today I want to show you a little bit about positioning of your controls on your handlebars. Okay folks, so throughout the uh, last few months or year of teaching mountain biking here on Vancouver Island, one thing that I come across quite a lot is the fact that many people have their brake levers in the wrong position. Today I want to explain where the best position is for your brakes so that you can optimize your body position uh, that we will learn in the next video of this series. So let's take a look at the brake levers and where they should be. So as you can see from the position of my hands here, I have just one finger on these brakes. Now, um, a lot of uh, adult mountain bikes are designed to be used with just one finger. The reason we use one finger um, is twofold, really. Brakes these days, hydraulic disc brakes, are very powerful. And uh, we, they don't need much force to pull on them. So you can easily pull a modern brake lever with one finger. Using just one finger allows you to um, be very gentle with pulling that lever. So um, if we end up with two or sometimes three fingers on those brake levers, we can pull those too hard. And then we can cause an accident by wrenching on the front brake too much um, or skidding too much with the rear brake by applying too much pressure. So we'll get into braking on a different lesson, but ideally we're looking for one finger braking, okay? Another reason for one finger braking is that with all other fingers wrapped around the handlebar, I've got way more control. So we're looking for one finger braking. Now, the only exception to that rule would be um, younger kids that need a bit more strength to pull those brakes. So two fingers is okay uh, for those younger kids. Now, when we're dealing with younger kids, we wanna make sure that the lever is within reach. So this is adjustable and I'll show you how. So these brakes don't have this adjustment um, as in the same way that the kids' bikes do, but usually on a kids' bike, just inside here, there's a little Allen key adjuster. And what that does is when you, adjust, when you turn that, the lever adjusts closer to the bar. So you want to be able to make sure that the child can grab the lever easily and they can reach it. So you would use that to adjust it. On these particular brakes, you can use the, this dial here to adjust the, where the brake lever sits. So nice and easy, you want to make sure that's in a nice place for you to feel. So that's the reach of the lever. The other thing to think of is where is the lever positioned on the bar? So a lot of um, mountain bike bars are very wide. Sometimes we want to shorten them down um, to be the right position for our body type or uh, the width of our shoulders. But once we've got the bars set, we kind of want our hand near the end of the bar. Um, so with our hand near the end of the bar for maximum control, we want to position the brake lever in such a way that the finger can just reach that. What I see often is that the brake lever is way further over here causing it to be closer into the hands, and then the, the person has to grab over here. And then you'll notice that as I'm pulling this, I have to use more than one finger because um, I can't actually pull it with the one because it hits the knuckles of the, of the other fingers. So this is very important. Make sure that you're only pulling this with one finger by positioning this in the right spot. And then you also need to think about the shift lever, where that's positioned um, so that you can reach that. On the left hand side, on a lot of mountain bikes, we have a dropper seat post. Once you've set the brake lever up in the right position, um, you'll need to make sure that the dropper lever is in the right position. Sometimes I've noticed people have the dropper lever on the other side of the brake lever and it just ends up being too far away. So everyone's bike's different, everyone's lever setup is slightly different. You just want to make sure that you can reach both quite easily um, and you know feel free to move them around and play with that obviously a lot of levers they don't necessarily open all the way and take them off so therefore you need to take the 
uh, the actual grip off first in order to slide these off and adjust the order. The last part of setting up this lever is the angle at which we set the lever. We set the distance from the grip. Now the angle is set by just taking a seat on your bike, nice and upright position, bend the elbows a little bit, and just take note of this angle of the forearm. And you just follow that down in a nice straight line to the ground with your finger, and that's gonna be where you wanna put the lever. So you can start it from there, it's a good starting point. And then as time progresses, you may develop your own preferences as to where you like those levers to sit. Um, but that's a good place to start. I hope that information has helped you and you're going to go and change your position of your levers to make sure you're in a comfortable position. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we talk about body position. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out some more videos uh, on the end screen here. And please subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified of when I post new videos. Thanks so much.